Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alvin Law 2. Welcome to the Dire Wolf Minecraft Feed the Beast pack. Today we are going to show you <clears throat> a wither farm in uh, my friend's server. Uh, if you guys want to check it out or if you want to join the server, uh, p please um, give me some feedback on what do you think about this? Um, the server IP is right here 193.35.58.2 colon 25568. If you guys don't got that, I'll put it in the description below. So, um, just to have it inside, uh, right now I'm in the server. So, um, I don't know, <clears throat> my friend Sam has built a river farm and apparently what he said is it given him quite a lot of stuff. Um, I have to <clears throat> let him into the call. So I'm on a marble surface in the middle of the void. Grants. Okay, Sam. Get out of this world. Sam, die. I, hope, I hope you don't. I hope you get stuck in there. Die. Hello, Sam. Hello, Alvin. Will you show me your wither farm? Yeah, just come on the server. I am. Oh. Oh, didn't notice. Uh, yeah, just come and I. TP you too. Give me a sec. Sam is the server owner of this magnificent dire wolf. Feed the beast server. Oh, thanks, Alvin. Magnificent it You're is. You're welcome. Right, I'll keep it. I'm trying to make this look as good as possible. You can only hide wiring so well. Is it back at Red Rock? No, no, no it's pretty good. You can. I'll turn them off. I have, to turn the, I have to turn the sound down a bit, okay? I'll turn them off, I'll turn them off. Just... No, don't turn it off. Keep it on. I'll just turn it off for a second. Just, I'll show you around first. Okay. Around here. This is the. Where, Explain to the viewers what all this thing is about. What well, all these? These are pneumatic tubes, just leading to barrels, putting the stuff in. Uh, the chest at the end is just for stuff that doesn't go in the barrels, like all the rare drops. Uh, as you can see, we've got 64 stacks of bones in this barrel, this barrel, and then 42 stacks in that one. Uh, so as you can see, I mean, this has only been going for about two hours, maybe, and it's got a lot of bones. Uh, Alvin, I'll just give you game mode, and you can fly up and have a look at the top. Oh wait, that's me. Sorry. <laughs> right, just, uh, uh, follow me. I'll then go on the inside. Because it's okay. got a roof, so you won't be able to get in. Right, the dispenser is just to dispense water and stuff for uh, collecting drops. But we've also got another it's thing to do that. Dark. Yeah, uh, okay, let me get some torches. At the top, these aren't normal spawners, as you can see. We haven't got a texture back on. These are called, well, they're a type of spawner, soul oh, shard spawner. Is, yeah. You need this thing, which I'm holding here, called a soul shard, and then that's a soul cage. Uh, when you kill a mob while holding a soul shard, you get that mob's like essence or soul. And if you get a thousand of each essence, you can make a spawner with it. Uh, but obviously, a thousand is pretty hard to get. And uh, if you collect a spawner with your soul shard, you get like 200. I'll when you stay up there and I'll turn it back on. No, go back up. Um, also, if you get an enchantment on your sword called soul stealer, that can also help you get it. Uh, right, I'm gonna turn the spawner on now. Alan, get rid of the torches up there. You can keep. Well, actually, you can keep. You can keep them. It'll probably be okay. Right, turning on. Right, go. Yep. Uh, we've got two other skeletons and a skeleton spawner up there. You yep. can like fly it's down. Or, yeah. How does this um, work? As you can see, it's, it's... Or, the redstone turns them on and off. If you get a tier five spawner, which is what these are, you can turn them on and off with redstone wire. Um. Basically, these are a lot faster than normal spawners, as you can see. Um, a tier one would be about the same as a regular spawner. These ones are about five times as fast as that. Let's get rid of this. La uh, Alvin, do you want to fly down and show them what's happening to the mobs? Yep. Right, I'll, I'll do that now. Make, maybe increase it a bit. I got one bone from that. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, hit the barrel. Um, also, we have been getting some wither skeleton skulls from this, but I was going to fight the wither, so I've got them in my inventory. We got eight all together after nice. this much time. 
I mean, that was pretty good instead of fighting a little withers. Um, uh, Sam, eventually yeah. people will start asking a tutorial on how to make something like this. Will you I'm do saying, it for them? It's not too complicated. Uh, I could probably make one. Um, I mean, obviously, the bit, basically the hardest part is getting your soul shards and stuff. It costs one diamond and uh, corrupted essence, which isn't that hard to get in, in a soul forge. The, 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 the diamond's the only thing that's really difficult. Then you get three soul shards. Obviously, you have to kill a lot of mobs to then um, get all that. I'll just turn this off because the noise must be quite annoying. But um, obviously then, you have to kill like a lot of mobs. I mean, you, you, one thing you might ask, you cannot use one like soul spawner to get another one, so you can't make like a tier one of one type and then get a tier five using it. Oh, uh, this is good. Push the I piss. like this. Yeah, I like this. Although the XP, is, it's a bit weird for some reason. I think it's something to do with the way I've got the spawner set up. But most of the mobs die, even with the extra block. And then like half of them oh, die. I, I, oh. <laughs> well then you should know that you cannot play, uh, press levers like that in this. Wait and turn it when the when the red sends off it's on. Yeah, uh, they still some die. Of them, some of them will survive, but most of them die anyway. It's a bit weird as I said. But uh then to push the drops towards you, the water also pushes them out unfortunately though. Uh, I've got a vial oh sword at the moment. This is... So I should probably turn the water off because it's making them not die. That wasn't necessarily a good idea. Right, looks like you're gonna have to kill these albums. Just get yourself a diamond sword and get to work. Oh, there's a skeleton skull. Oh, another one. Yeah, you see, there's a enchantment in the base called Vorpal, which means you get like more skulls when you kill them with a Vorpal blade, basically. It's, I think it's sort of some movie. But um, you get wither, you get skulls a lot. I've got let me see many skeleton skulls I've got when you killed all these. You kill all these. There's another skeleton skull. Uh, another question for you. Will yeah. you put this server on public for everyone to see? I'm thinking about that at the moment. I mean, obviously, we wouldn't really have too many people. It depends how many people try to get on at once. As you can see, a bit of my wiring there where I broke the panel. Uh, let's turn off spawning for a minute. While we kill the rest of these yeah, guys. Yeah, I got a file sword. I just spawned it. It does also work as an XP farm. Alvin, you want to kill a couple of them and show them... I mean, withers give quite a lot of XP, so... Yeah, punch you! Uh, most of them should be one hit, yeah. Well, I'll actually, quite some of them aren't, because the water would have saved most of them. Uh, I'll just try and kill out these ones that have got around this. Yeah, with, with that Vorpal Sword, just got three Skeleton Skulls, just have to kill them. They might be killed right there. Turrets. Can I just put that down? Uh, what is it? Is it a uh, portal thing? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not Shoot sure. It. I'm, Shoot it. I think it kills players more than mobs, Alvin. Oh. Like, if I placed one and you were to go in survival, it would probably start killing you. Uh, well, let's see. What what else is fun in this, this mod pack? We can show the viewers. Ah. I'm not quite go. sure. I haven't played Direwolf that much. Oh, oh. You're like this. the expert of this Direwolf. Oh, oh. oh my this, god. This is called a gravity gun, guys. Uh, it's you not must... expensive. It requires some ender pearls. This one that I've got here is a supercharged one. It is quite expensive. You need, I think, a nether star. I'll have one of these soon, by the way. Uh, yes. So let's see. With this, you can pick up people. You can pick up blocks. That includes mob spawners, which is pretty good. You can also fire them. Go. Oh, it's the wrong button, sorry. Uh, go. You can do this with mobs also. Oh, that's a block. Go away. <laughs> you can just troll your friends, walk up behind them with a creeper. Just, hello. Just, let's see if I fire him straight up. Boom. Can I catch him? Oh, I caught him. <laughs> Again. Oh, like. By the way, this is the same gravity gun that you would expect from Gary's mod. There's a grass block. Straight up. Is it going to hit me? Oh, I caught it. <laughs> I got short of minimum, or minimum, sorry. Uh, that is with uh, equivalent exchange. Basically, with that you can make a thing called a minimum stone, which is like, not as uh, not as good as a philosopher's stone, but just sort of the tier beneath that, really. Um, can you still it, make a philosopher's stone? Oh, Calvin, you got rid of my sign. Yeah, because you... 
<laughs> you gravity gunned me, and then I was hitting some skeleton, and then I hit I'll just finish off these last ones here. Yeah. Oh, I stole one of my panels at the back. Panels are forever. Alvin, stop messing around with the buttons. <laughs> the button, unfortunately, attaches to some pistons as well, so it, it, it pushes them out, but they go back in, so it doesn't really cause any lasting problems. Just, just like, glitch one of them into my wiring, Alvin, is it? I think there's one stuck at the bottom now. There's Amber right there. Amber, sorry. Nah, it's only Amber. I've got quite a lot. Let me just get a... What do you call them? Panel. That's it. Yeah. I'm gonna break panel. Oh, this is quite laggy. It's because you're on oven, so you just bring lag with you anywhere you go. Yeah. It's a YouTube video. Clearly be extremely laggy. <laughs> I'll watch it tonight. See what you see how it is. Well, whenever you upload it. Uh, so, is there anything else you want me to show them? I can show them the base if you want. I guess that's it for today's episode. Okay. I would guess. Do you want to tell them when it will be uploaded, Alvin? When will it be uploaded? I just, I'm thinking of a schedule of Sunday would probably have. A Minecraft video, and Saturday would be a Planet Side Two. Cool. I, I'm not quite sure that schedule will stay because of the schoolwork, that sort of thing. I'm not. I can't be 100% to promise you that this schedule will be as promised. So, yeah. Let me just show something quick before we go off, Alvin. This is, uh, okay. Alvin, don't spawn chickens in my house. Alvin, turn around behind you. Alvin, stop! Alvin, seriously, I'm gonna have to get rid of them now. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks bro. Alvin, <laughs> over here, I need to show you. Alvin, right, this is my, uh, magmatic engine system. You guys probably use all your macerators and stuff, but these things are a lot better. These are pulverizers and, uh, power furnaces. Down here, trying not to break anything, uh, we have a little system. This is like an infinite power thing. Uh, well, it should be, but some of the engines just seem to be working. Wow, that worked very well. But um, this basically powers all these machines. Uh, if you're thinking about using macerators instead of... Basically, I advise using pulverizers instead of macerators. There are some reasons. Sort of, well, pulverizers, I have Alvin, you would just look at the interface. Uh, they take slightly less power. They hold a lot more power in them, which is quite good. You can put batteries and stuff in them to power them. Uh, but they're faster. Well, let me just get something to pulverize. Uh, just see. spawn yeah. something. Yeah, let's get some lapis. Or okay. I have a sunfish pick, so I could have got legit. It's in the first one on the left. Oh no, that's a furnace. Sorry, pulverizer. Bottom, bottom left. Yep. Uh, then it it basically also there's a thing called configuration, Alan. If you look, it's sort of like a green wheel. It's like yep. sort of like a right. It's... If you click on that. Basically, um, this you can have different colors. No, don't change the color there. Uh, it needs to be orange. Orange means it outputs, and since orange is at the top of it, it'll just output straight into my power furnace. Obviously, you can't, uh, you can't cook lapis, so that's not going to work. But um, it's kind of like, uh, it's it's like a master in the way that it gives you two of each ore. Oh, I should have chosen a bad ore to show you, but as you can see, it's getting. Uh, quite a lot of lapis compared to what you'd usually get if you just smelted it. Uh, let's see, get some iron out. There we go. Uh, just take this lapis out. Iron. Right. Uh, uh, let's see. Iron, if you look in the oven, if you look in the powered furnace, there should be some iron. Yeah, pulverized iron. Right. Uh, if you look at the speed of these machines, also the amount of power they use up, if you like, look, look, put your, hold your thing over the power and it'll show you. They, don't, they barely use up anything. They're literally not, neither of them are used up any power. And also, they're a lot faster. As you can see, uh, the little slot at the bottom, if you look in the pulverizer, the like little slot below where the stuff comes, uh, that's for getting, you can sometimes get random um, uh, ores. Usually, it's not very good, but I think if you smelt nickelite in a pulverizer, you have a chance of getting diamonds. Usually, with iron, I think you get ferrous dust. Oh, there, there, there we go, Alan. Oh. Yeah, pulverized ferrous dust. Right, you just take that out, put it in one of the powered furnaces. But um, as uh, you can just get random things every now and again. Um, also, 
There's a lot more sort of customization to this. With yeah, the redstone, you can choose if you want to power them with redstone or not. Uh, it says how much power usage they use. Um, and then obviously there's the configuration interface, which means makes piping a lot easier, where you can just like have it outputting to one side. Uh, inputting to one side as well. Blue means input. I'm not sure what the other colors are. I need to watch the owl 20 to find out. But anyway, I hope that uh, you guys liked this. Uh, maybe I will release the server IP in one of the following videos. Up here is just a bit of Rowan stuff. As you can see, we have 24 diamonds. There's some other ones at Rowan's base as well. Um, and we've got Miscraft. There's a load of mods and PDBs. I recommend you guys all download it. It's just a Minecraft mod pack. Look up FTB and you should be able to find it. It's very good. So the Soul Forge I was talking about. You can make the Soul Shards of this. It's not that expensive. Uh, nothing's happening at the moment. So anyway, that's basically all I have to show you. We only started this world a couple of days ago because the old world broke in some oh. way. So we Thank haven't actually got for this. Anytime, anytime. Uh, you can see my piston door. Don't know if you saw it. And it's not one of the ones that's sure hey, sometime soon there will be quite popularity in your server soon. You can have a little look at our Thorncraft villager who we keep in this little box. We torture him. Can you him. trade with him? Uh, yeah, he tr I'll just open the top here. He trades Thorncraft items. I think Alumentum. Yeah, that's his trade. Wait. Um, Ali Mandem, actually, <laughs> let's get some going on. Get, get some emeralds. Uh, emerald. Be careful with it, don't don't use it or anything. Just spawn in some emeralds and try it. Actually, I'll do it, it'll be easier. Uh, um, right, right, let's see. I'll be going there a sec. I got emeralds already. I got them first. Uh -huh. Right, oh, did I just drop some? Or was that you dropping some? Um. Uh, Did he change trade? It doesn't come let me do buy a momentum. Come out of the trade a sec, Alan. Just come out of it. You're still in the trading window, I can't do anything. Right, the next trade. Oh, he wants quick silver emeralds. Right, I got some momentum before he changed trade though, Alvin. So if you come out here, we can show the viewers what this epic thing is. Right, Alvin, you can see me holding it, right? If I, uh, if I right click, it throws it, and it's like oh. a grenade, basically. Look, 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 and look at the one thing about one thing that's really good with Thorncraft, uh, the textures. Like, look at this for a texture. Just look at that. No, no other like mods have tech. Well, Put me in survival. Put me in survival. Uh, Just to see how much damage does this does. Mm, it might kill. Don't know. Yeah, but I don't really have valuable stuff. Go. Three hearts. <laughs> Five hearts. Look, did you go up again? Oh, oh, you mean you, t you took it, right? Uh, do you want to show the viewers you using some? Also, you can place it down. I know what you can't. Maybe you can't. I'm sure you can place it down. Oh, yep. <laughs> you like just destroy your own world. Oh, yeah, this nice. Is You're now dropping my frame rate. Does it destroy stone just as easily? It looks like it doesn't destroy stone. Here, Alvin, do you wanna don't 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 use it too much like I did, but there's some on the floor. You can have a look at that. Uh, let me just show them some Zycraft. Uh, I'll get some for well, just while you're doing that. The Zycraft is very interesting. Alvin, not too many. <laughs> I'm sorry. Try not to wreck my farms or anything. <laughs> Please. Uh, right, let's see. Zycraft like this is a very good mod, as I said earlier when we were talking about texture. Oh, well, we've, we've attempted to end this video like four times now. But, um, I just right. destroyed your mountain range, basically. Wait, what? Oh, thanks, Alvin. You're so welcome. Uh, let me see. What are you going to show the viewers now? The. Um, this Zycraft, okay? Oh, the Zycronium. No more, but right, that's Zycorium. And with it, you can make, uh, well, this is the first block. This isn't very expensive. This is a Zycorium block. Look at that for a texture. It, like, and it, moves and everything. And it's animated, by the way, if you guys didn't see. It's animated. There's also Zycorium brick. Which is also animated textures. Zycorium plate. Also animated. This looks like piston, but, yeah. Zycorium shield. 
to the statue? I'm not sure. And a blue structure. It doesn't seem to be the same color, but... I'll win. Okay, so it doesn't destroy it. Okay. Uh, I think they give off a bit of light. Uh, as you can see, I use them for my base. Can you base, change the time? To... Uh, night. Uh, that's one of the reasons I might not be putting my server on um, uh, public. I haven't been able to get bucket for it because of the mods. Uh, I'm going to attempt to do that, and if I do it, it'll mean I can add plugins and stuff, because it's just, without the permissions, it makes it sort of annoying, like if someone griefs you or something like that, but I will hopefully get it up public soon for you guys. Okay. Uh, right, let's destroy oh, these. Thank you, Sam, for joining up, uh, uh, joining me. <laughs> a stuttering. A bit unprofessional, know. but... You might have to cut that out, and all the other attempted endings. Yeah. Well, thanks anyway. Yeah. Oh, the portal too, of course. Drop it! Yeah, they already know about this mod, but it's still yeah. pretty good. Space basic portal. Oh, I'll throw you. Well. Duck between the portals? Oh, you're over there. I just like, I placed one down and you disappeared. So. Oh, you got to show them this one thing before we go. Like, they're just like, they're, you know what that is, don't you, Alvin? Oh my god, it's the, um... A launch plate. Wait, why does it go up? I made it like horizontal par. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I made the like par for it full on both things, horizontal and vertical. You can like click on it. Boom. So these are pretty cool. Uh, also, with the mod come long fall boots, which mean you take no fall damage. So if you put these together, you can have like a system of these sort of teleporting you around. Pretty cool. You guys probably know quite a lot of the mods that feed the beast, but this is just to make sure that you know like as many as possible. Uh, right, is there anything else I can show you before Alvin attempts to end it and I add something else? I think what am I going to add? What am I going to add to this video? So amazing. I don't know myself. I Seems Alvin. like you know better than me. <laughs> you wanna end it there, Alvin? Yeah. Are you going right, to take I off do. your helmet? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Boom. Holy Slimes. Join the Holy Slimes by subscribing. And uh, also subscribe to 360 Specialist. <laughs> don't subscribe to me, don't make any videos. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you sooner is going to make COD videos. By the way, he's an <laughs> excellent COD player. See, Alvin knows this before I do. I'm gonna make call videos, guys. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody.